and we are here at Russell High School tonight on My Town Sports for the battle of the Russell Red Devils and the East Carter Raiders tonight at Russell. This is senior night here for the Devils and we're going to broadcast it all live here on My Town Sports TV Network. Uh, this looks to be a good game in the 16th region before we head to the district tournament play next week. And Russell will play Raceland in the first round of the district next week uh, at the 63rd district in Lewis County. East Carter has the one seed in the 62nd district and it will play Elliott County. So the district tournament seeds are set. And we are ready to uh, rock and roll here on the last weekend of the regular season here on My Town Sports TV. We're going to take a break so we can hear from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with the starting lineups for each team. The deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. are back here on my town sports as you're watching East Carter take infield here East Carter will start the pitcher and leadoff batter Tate Scott Evan Goodman will bat second play left Andrew Tomalonis will play third base and bat third followed by the cleanup hitter Ty Scott the shortstop uh, then you are followed with the center fielder Blake Hall in the five spot Jackson Barker will be behind the dish catching and batting six with Harley Bowen, the first baseman, batting seventh. Gavin Sexton, the second baseman, will bat eighth. And Samuel Hamilton will DH tonight for the right fielder, Caleb Lane. That's your East Carter Raiders, coached by Jeremiah Shear. Russell will lead off with Kyle Mokas at second base, followed by the shortstop Elijah Hankins, and then the third batter, Nathan Totten, the pitcher. Ethan Oborn will play center field tonight and bat fourth. Then Nick Adams will be the third baseman, batting fifth. Connor Hamilton will be the DH, batting sixth, followed by Frank Brickman, the, cat, Brinkman, the catcher, batting seventh. Then Clark Looney, the left fielder, will bat eighth. And Austin Haywood, the right fielder, will bat ninth. And the first baseman tonight who will not be batting for the Devils is Jacob Hankins. 
There are your lineups for the East Carter Raiders and the Russell Red Devils as they are set here tonight to do battle in the final weekend of the 16th region before district tournament play starts next week. So, we are here live on my town. I am Jason Clark, and we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with the first pitch from Russell High School. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. And we are here live at Russell High School. And we are finishing the pregame meeting between the two schools. And it is senior day here at Russell for Coach Tim Rice and his Devils. As Jeremiah Shear and his Raiders come in. And East Carter is playing some very good baseball here lately with a 2-1 win over Boyd County. Uh, not only that... East Carter is currently ranked second in the region in the RPI. The Devils are ranked sixth. So you're looking at two highly ranked teams here well, in the again, KHSA RPI. We, we are going are so to, to take tonight. our last pregame break here on My Town TV. This guy. is Jason Clark. I'll be bringing you the game tonight from Russell as we will uh, get ready Devils. for the – start of this battle between the Red Devils and the Raiders tonight here at the uh, complex Raiders. here at Russell High School. It's a beautiful night for baseball. If you're Batting out in the area, come on out and tonight, watch 16, us uh, live here at Russell and enjoy this game. It's a great evening, Batting great weather. Field, the field looks 30, great after a lot of rain today. But we'll be back here batting for third, the first pitch third, as we round up our pregame show injury, here on My Town Sports. The Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181.
better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181. And we are back here live on My Town Sports Network as we are bringing to you tonight one of the few games that's going to get played in the region. And it's going Red to be the Red Russell Red Devils and the East and Carter the Raiders. Devils, and Cotton. we have just introduced our starting lineups over the loudspeaker. We're getting ready here for the National Anthem. And we'll be ready with the first pitch here on my town when we get back here in just a couple of minutes. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy, and so much more. concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. And we are back here live at Russell High School. This is Jason Clark. I'll be bringing you the game tonight on the My Town Sports TV network as we look at high school baseball in its final weekend of the regular season. And we've got a matchup of the Russell Red Devils and the East Carter Raiders. Um, obviously, uh, neither team tonight, knowing that they will be playing here in the next few days in this tournament, uh, is uh, actually going with the ace of their staff. Uh, according to Tim Holbrook, or Tim Rice, sorry, uh, talked to Tim Rice earlier, and Tim Rice is like, we don't have an ace uh, per se. He said, we just have a lot of really good high school baseball arms. And he's done a great job of developing that throughout the season as Russell has had some really good wins throughout this year. And uh, 
with a lot of different arms. And then you've got East Carter on the other side who has uh, two of the better arms in the 16th region, although neither are actually taking the mound tonight. You have uh, Connor Skaggs who has uh, beaten Greenup uh, earlier this season, beaten Raceland as well, and then Harley Bowen who I believe is at six and one this year is the ace of the staff there and Harley will be playing first base tonight. So uh, Harley's only loss of the season is to uh, the Ashland Tomcats when they were on that seven game win streak earlier in the year. Ashland was scheduled to play Pikeville tonight at Ashland. However, that game was canceled due to weather and field conditions there at Ashland. So uh, they'll be ready for the district tournament. Right now, you have the pitcher, Tate Scott, batting from the left side of the plate, going against his counterpart, Nathan Totten, who's throwing from the left side of the mound. And the first pitch is a fastball strike one by Totten. Totten, also a very good football player here for the Red Devils. Second pitch off speed, ball one. We have a one-on-one -on -one count. Totten working quick. Scott lines one into left field, and that is going to be two off the bat as Tate Scott slides into second base just underneath of the tag from Mokus. Great throw there by the uh, Russell left fielder of Clark Looney. Clark Looney is also a really good pitcher with a great arm and made an, a really nice throw into second base and made a double very close as Tate Scott leads off the game for East with a double. Totten looks to deliver. First pitch to Evan Goodman, the left fielder, is a strike. Russell working the runner. And Goodman will take a ball inside. One and one is the count here in the top of the first. Lead off double by the pitcher, Tate Scott. Totten checks his runner. Looks, delivers to the plate. Inside out swing and it is fouled off right outside the right field foul line not foul by much inside out swing however it is a strike and it's going to be one ball two strikes to Evan Goodman the East Carter Red Raider left fielder Totten has the sign looks from the stretch delivers and that's going to be fouled off over into the right side woods here at Russell High School so we're going to hold our count at one ball and two strikes Totten has a sign looks and delivers to the plate fouled off back and away and we're still going to stay at one ball and two strikes good at bat here by Evan Goodman to work the pitcher, Nathan Totten, here in his first at bat. Totten now ready to deliver. Turns, and that ball gets away and goes into center field. Looks like they had a play called. And now that's going to advance the runner to third on an errant pickoff throw as Totten wheeled and threw to second base. And 
neither the shortstop nor the second baseman was there covering. They were just working the runner back and forth. And now the runner stands at third base with no outs. As Goodman fouls another one off, and the count stays at one ball and two strikes. East Carter 90 feet away from taking a lead in this game. And Totten blows one by Goodman now with the fastball on the outside corner. That's one out, but that's going to bring up East Carter's best hitter, uh, their East top Carter, average, the and number their number Andrew one Tomalonis. leader in RBIs, Andrew Tomalonis. Andrew's playing third tonight. You'll see him sometimes play first, but that he'll take that ball up over his head as ball one is delivered from Totten. Totten is going to stay in the stretch with the runner here at third. And delivers as Tom Alonis skies one up top to Mokas. And Mokas is going to make the catch. And that's going to be two outs for the Raiders now after they had a runner at third with no one out. Strike out, pop out. And now Ty Scott, the shortstop, is going to try to get the Raiders on the board here in the first half of the first inning. And Totten just a few pitches away from getting out of a big time jam as he as he delivers an off speed to Scott and that is going to be strike one Totten now ready to fire outside ball one one ball one strike two outs now as a runner at third base with no one out and a strikeout, infield pop out. And Totten is one pitch away from getting out of a first inning jam. That ball is going to be hit at Mocus. Mocus is going to backhand field it and throw it to first. And it's going to be an out as it was punched out. Great play by Mocus as he backhands it, goes to his knees, comes up and fires, gets the out. East Carter gets zero runs off the leadoff double and a runner at third with no outs. We're going to be at the Russell bottom half of the first here on My Town Sports here in just a minute after a word from our sponsors. Before cheering on the cats at Rub, we always make sure to stop at Clark's Main Street Market for all the essentials. Return, refresh, refuel. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand to be heard to have a say professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right excellent care that's nationally recognized you want the heart experts at king's daughters because when it comes to your heart we have exactly what it wants and we are getting ready for the bottom half of the first inning from russell as russell's getting ready to come up to the plate. They're going to send up Kyle Mo Mokas, Elijah Hankins, and then the pitcher Nathan Totten. Mokas made two outs, put outs in that top of the first inning. He caught an infield pop-up and then made the nice web gem there at the end of the first, top of the first inning with that sliding backhand and get up and throw over to first base as he beat the speedy shortstop Ty Scott out and that would have plated an East Carter run as the pitcher for East Carter 
Tate Scott and leadoff batter doubled to start the inning, advanced to third off a pickoff play that did not work and went out to center field. And the runner was left stranded at third base. And now Russell will come up to bat. It's going to be Kyle Mokas. Leading off for the Red Devils, number six, the second baseman, Kyle Mokas. Mokas will step into the box. He's going to step into the left side of the box and face the right-hander, Scott. Mokas is going to swing and a miss at a fastball, and it's going to be strike one for Scott. He's going to foul the second pitch up and off and out of play, and that's going to be no balls, two strikes to Mokas here to start the Russell half of the first. Fastball up and away. And ball one from Scott to Mokas. Scott, he tries an off-speed curve, breaks inside and high on Mokas, and now you have a two and two count. And Scott delivers to Mokas. And Mokas is going to pop it up foul down the third baseline. But that is going to be a an easy put out for Andrew Tomalonis. As for the he drifts Devils. back, makes the catch. Number one, the shortstop, Elijah Hankins. And one is out in the Russell half of the first inning. And that's going to bring up Elijah Hankins, the shortstop for the Devils. Scott starts Hankins off with the off-speed pitch that's high and inside. Ball one. Scott looking to deliver quickly. And that ball's going to be low and outside. That fastball, ball two. Two balls, no strikes to Hankins, the Russell shortstop. The third pitch is an inside fastball, and that's lifted high and above the third baseman, but the shortstop for East Carter, Ty Scott, comes over and makes the catch. And that's going to be two outs here in the Russell half of the first. Both of them pop-ups to the left side of the infield. And now Oborn, I'm sorry, Totten, Totten, the pitcher, will bat from the left side as he delivers from the left side. Totten now steps into the box, number 26. Nathan Totten, the pitcher, and he takes ball one high and away. Totten smokes the ball. Off of off of Tate Scott, the pitcher, and he hit him hard. Scott picks up the ball, but could not make the throw over to first uh, in time to get Totten. Totten hit a absolute missile up the middle that hit Tate Scott, and now the umpire doing a good piece of his work is going out there to check on Tate Scott as Tate delivered that pitch and there was no glove, no anything on it as that ball was rocketed by Totten up the middle and hit Scott. And now the umpire is going to give Tate just a few warm up pitches and let him kind of gather himself after taking the shot from Totten that was blistered up the middle as you can see. Scott now walking around trying to work that off. 
has Totten squared up that fastball. And now you have the center fielder, Ethan Oborn, stepping into the box and up to the plate. And Totten over at first. This first pitch is going to be hit to short. And Totten is going to be safe as that ball was fumbled around a little bit. That's going to be an error on Ty Scott. As Tate got a first pitch. Number two, Nick. First pitch ground ball that should have gotten him out of the inning. And then it was fielded cleanly, dropped, fumbled around. And by the time they flipped it to second base, Totten was safe. And so was Oborn. And now Russell has runners at first and second with two outs. And the ball scoots by the catcher. Barker, which not too many balls get by Barker. That ball scooted by Barker. Now runners are at second and third with two outs. As Nick Adams, the third baseman for Russell, has a chance to put now the Devils onto the scoreboard in the first inning. Base hit could play potentially two runs for the Devils. And Adams lifts it high into right field. And that's going to be caught by Caleb Lang in, in the first. And it's going to be Russell zero, East Carter zero. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. On the cats at Rep, we always make sure to stop at Clark's Main Street Market for all the essentials. Return, refresh, refuel. And we are back here for the second inning as we have Russell and East Carter 0-0. Zero, zero. Both teams in their part of the first inning threatened with runners in scoring position. Neither could get one across the plate. And now Nathan Totten looks to go against Center fielder Blake Hall, Jackson Barker, the catcher, and Harley Bowen, the first baseman, here in the top of the second inning as we brought it down. And we're ready to get the second inning here going from Russell High School. Folks, I know we had some rain today, but the field is in very good shape. Doesn't look East like Carter. there's any type of the puddles out here or anything Number like that. So if Paul. you're in the area, you can come and watch a high school baseball game between two really good high school teams, two really well-coached high school teams, Tim Rice and Jeremiah Shear. Totten delivers strike one. Fastball inside. And Blake Hall steps into the box. That ball's hit right back up the middle at Totten. Totten gets a glove on it, but 
it skips off and by the time the short stop Hankins gathers it Hall is safe at first that's going to be an infield hit we've had two of those today as Todd fired one back at his counterpart in the top of the first half and reached base safely got all the way to third before the inning ended with the fly ball to right field now Barker the catcher will step into the box and Totten will fire over to first. Hall will dive back in safely. Totten delivers to the plate. Ball one as it scoots low and inside. Brinkman makes the scoop on that pitch. Totten gets his sign from the stretch, checks the runner, and delivers to the plate. Runner goes, and that throw's not going to be in time by Brinkman. Down to Hankins, and that's going to be a stolen base for Blake Hall. And now it's two balls, no strikes. East Carter, no outs. Runner in scoring position again for the second straight inning by the Raiders. That ball is going to sail high and away from Barker. And now it's three balls, no strikes. And that's going to limit Coach Tim Rice. He's going to have to call probably a fastball down the middle with no one swinging right here. And he does. Strike one. Three balls, one strike. Now you got a hitter's count. Barker can look for his pitch as Totten is set to deliver. No one keeping the runner close. That's going to be inside strike two. Now Totten has worked back to a full count as that was a very well placed pitch by Nathan Totten. Totten looks. Checks. Runner takes off. He's got a big break, and it's going to be first and third as that's ball four high to the catcher, Jackson Barker. And so. Breeze Carter, the first baseman, number 41. Totten never checked. Hall never saw anyone working him and took off on first movement and was standing on third base regardless of the outcome of that pitch. So now first and third, no one out in the top half of the second inning. And that ball is check swinged and fouled off by Harley Bowen, the first baseman tonight. Bowen, an excellent right-handed pitcher with a awkward delivery, and this time he's going to put one on the field. It's going to go to the third baseman, score the run as they try to turn the 5-4-3 double play, but it is not in time, and the ball scoots by the first baseman, not before the out at second is recorded on the fielder's choice. Gavin but it's going to Sexton. get the first run of the game across as Blake Hall crosses the plate for East Carter. And now there's one out and a runner on first base. Bowen delivers the RBI. Fielder's choice. And now a ball is up top to Gavin Sexton, the second baseman. Totten looks, fires. That ball is hit at the third baseman. Tries for another 5-4-3. Ball scoots by the first baseman this time as well. And it's going to be just another fielder's choice. Two outs as the out at second is recorded. The first baseman gathers the ball quickly. Sexton 
actually made the turn, clear. fell Number down, and scampered back to Samuel base. Hamilton. So now you're still at a runner at first and two outs here in the top of the second. East Carter leading one to nothing. And now the DH Samuel Hamilton swings and misses at strike one. Totten from the stretch. He delivers, and it is outside ball one as they try to back pick Sexton at first base. And that throw is scooped up by the first baseman, Jacob Hankins. And Samuel is back safe. Hamilton swings and misses at that offering. And now we've got a two ball, two strike count, two outs here in the second inning. Runner goes, swing and a miss, and that's going to be a strikeout for Totten. That's going to end the inning. And we're going to go to the bottom half of the second. East Carter does plate one. It is one to nothing going into the bottom of the second here at Russell Heist. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. And we're trying to help you make the right call. The Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181. We are back here on My Town Sports. I am Jason Clark. We're getting ready to start the bottom of the second inning between Russell and East Carter. And for those of you listening, and hopefully my wife listening at home, a happy birthday to Tara Clark as I'm here calling the game. And she is probably at home on her phone, watching on the app, the Red Devils, on the Facebook. Hitter, number 17, Connor Hamilton. She likes to give me pointers sometimes, but would like to wish her a happy birthday as we start the bottom of the second inning. And that ball is fouled off back off the screen, one ball, no strikes, or one strike, no balls, sorry, to Connor Hamilton as he lifts this ball. And it is caught by the first baseman, Bowen, over by the Russell dugout. Nice play on the foul Porter ball Russell, the to catcher, retire Hamilton. Four, Frank Brinkman. On the foul ball. And now that's going to bring up the catcher, Frank Brick Brinkman. And Scott delivers strike one as a fastball as Brinkman swung through it. And we're getting ready for Scott's second delivery. Inside and up. That's going to be ball one. One ball, one strike to Brinkman as Scott has his sign and is ready to deal. 
High and inside again to Brinkman. Two balls, one strike. Scott gets on the mound and works efficiently. Ray to the liver. And that's going to be 3-1 as he's missed three pitches in the same place. High and inside to the Russell catcher, Frank Brinkman. That ball is a fast ball down the center of the plate that Brinkman fouls off and to the right side out of play. And it's going to be a full count. Scott ready to deliver the payoff pitch. And that ball is just high. And Brinkman will take his walk. So the catcher, Frank Brinkman, the seven hitter for, for the Devils, Devils, reaches the base. left fielder, number 27, Clark Looney. And now Clark Looney, the left fielder, <laughs> will reach or will come up to the batter's box. And Looney has had some big games on the mound for the Devils this year. Scott from the stretch. And delivers strike two. No balls, two strikes. Now to Clark Looney. As Tim Rice gives signs the old school way. He doesn't use the bands like a lot of the new coaches do and call out numbers. Coach Rice, a purist over there, giving all kinds of signs and indicators to his team. And that is going to be a strike. He's going to be out because first base was occupied. So even though there was a drop third strike, first base was occupied, which makes the batter automatically out. However, Brinkman goes down to second base on that, and that is going to put Brinkman in scoring position for Austin Haywood, the right fielder for the Devils. So Russell... Threatening again in the, the bottom half of the second inning against Tate Scott as Scott delivers strike one. Russell left second and third last inning, and now another runner in scoring position in the second inning. Strike two called on the outside corner. And it's no balls and two strikes to Austin Howard, or Haywood, sorry, Austin Haywood. As he swings and misses, Haywood misses the third pitch, and that's strike three, and that's a strikeout for Scott. That's going to end the Devils' second inning, who have left three runners in scoring position. And after two complete, East Carter one, Russell zero. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back on my town for the third inning. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. Cats at Rep, we always make sure to stop at Clark's Main Street Market for all the essentials. Return, refresh, refuel. 
And we are back here on My Town Sports as we're getting ready to begin the third inning here from the beautiful complex here at Russell High School. East Carter 1, Russell 0 as we start the third inning. And East Carter is going to come to bat with their leadoff man and pitcher, Tate Scott. Scott doubled in his first at-bat, advanced to third base with no outs, and then could not get in as Totten did an excellent job getting out of that jam in the first inning. He got a strikeout, a pop-up. Leading off the third inning and for the a East ground ball so out. Number 16, to Tate Scott. get himself out of the first inning. We are now in the top of the third inning. East Carter 1, Russell 0 as Totten set to deliver pitch 1. And that's going to be a strike fastball on the outer half of the plate. Totten now working quick as Scott lines one into left field, and that's going to be his second base hit of the night as the pitcher Tate Scott now delivers a base hit For the Raiders, to lead off the third. The left fielder, number 30, Evan Goodman. And now Goodman, who struck out in his first at bat, Steps in to the box. Totten from the stretch. Looks, fires, and it's going to be strike one on the inside part of the plate. No balls, one strike. As Totten deals with a base runner here. That ball is going to be lifted high and deep and foul off the wall in left field by Goodman. Just out in front of it, no balls, two strikes, just a long strike there from Tot. Totten looks, fires. That ball is going to be right at Oborn, the center fielder. Ethan comes in and makes an easy catch. And there's one away in the third inning here Please Carter, at Russell. The third baseman, number three, Andrew Tomalonis. Tomalonis, who popped out to the third baseman in his first at bat with a runner on third, now steps in into the box and Totten delivers as Scott runs and he is in there safe. That's the second steal in three innings for the Raiders. Really it's a third steal. Two off Brinkman, one off the pitcher and now East Carter with three stolen bases in two innings. This ball's roped into left center, and it's going to get Scott home easily, standing up. So a single for Tomalonis, and he's going to drive in another run for the Red Raiders, and there are Carter, only one shot, out in the top of the third Scott. inning with Tom Alonis over at first. And that's going to bring up Ty Scott, the shortstop. Scott swinging at the first pitch. He's going to foul it. Out of play. Maybe. Nope. Caught. I can't see. That ball's caught. Over by the dugout. 
as my view's blocked here by the walls and camera here in the press box, but nice catch there to record second the second out from the first baseman, For East Jacob Carter, Hankins. For center fielder, number 10, Blake Hall. Now Hall, the center fielder, is in the box, and it's going to be strike one, swing and a miss. No balls, one strike, two outs, but one is already in for the Raiders. Pitch number two from Totten. It's going to be a ball. Totten delivering to the center fielder, Blake Hall, who scored the first run of the game. Reached on an infield single off Totten's glove that skipped over to the shortstop. Now it's one ball and two strikes. Totten looking to get out of this inning. And Hall fouls it back off the screen. One ball, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the third. As there's another stolen base from East Carter as Tom Malonis goes on that pitch. And he will slide in safely as the throw was high. Now two and two, two outs. Tom Malonis at second base with an opportunity to score another run for the Raiders. Ball's lifted up and out of play as now we are starting to see some umbrellas come out from the press box. It looks like there is a little bit of rain coming down right now. And Hall stays alive by fouling another one off the right side and out of play. Totten delivers that ball. is going to scoot by Brinkman, and that's going to advance the runner. He's going to go to third base. So now you've got a full count to Blake Hall and a runner at third. Malonis was uh, able to scamper over to third off that pass ball. So East has a runner at third with two outs. Full count. Two and that ball is going to be lifted high into the infield. And Mocus is calling. And Mocus is going to make the catch there, even with the pitcher's mound. And that's going to end the East Carter top half of the third, not before they play the run. It is East Carter 2, Russell 0. We'll be right back with the bottom of the third. Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. We are back here at My Town TV for the 
start of the bottom of the third inning as Russell will come to the plate with leadoff Kyle Mokas. And they are trailing two runs to zero here at Russell on senior day. And they have had three runners left in scoring position. And we're ready to start. For the Red Devils, the second baseman. The bottom six, of the third. Kyle Mokas. As Kyle Mokas steps into the box. Maybe you can't see it on TV, but it has started to rain again here at Russell. And if you can see the field is getting a little bit wet as the rain starting to steadily come down in the bottom of the third. Mocha swings and fouls off. Strike one. Mokas, the second baseman that had a tremendous play to end the top of the first. Now into the box. And he's got a one ball, one strike count. The leadoff man for the Devils. Mokas has had a tremendous season at the plate and in the field. And now he takes ball two, two balls, one strike. As Mokas digs in, Scott ready to deliver. And that's going to be fouled off the left side out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Scott looks to deliver. Mocus fouls that off and stays alive. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here in the Russell half of the third inning. And Mocus is going to take an off speed pitch. For ball three. So now we have a full count. And now Mocus is pulled out on an outside fastball by Scott. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. For the Red Devils, the shortstop, number one, Elijah Hankin. And that is going to be... The first strikeout for Scott on the evening. Hankins, the shortstop for Russell, now steps into the box. And he's going to take strike one. So Scott looking to work quickly here as the rain comes down at Russell. Check, did not go. One ball, one strike, one out. Here in the bottom of the third. East Carter leading Russell. Two runs to zero. And now Hankins finds himself in a one ball, two strike hole as he swung and missed at that ball. And now Scott throws a breaker. Off the plate and low. Two balls, two strikes. To the Russell shortstop, Elijah Hankins. Hankins hits it right back at Scott. Scott catches it, line drive out. And there are two outs in the inning. For the Red Devils, the pitcher, number 26, Nathan Totten. Totten who blistered a fastball off of Scott in his last at bat and reached safely 
and was stranded on third base and could not get in. So now, pitcher versus pitcher. Scott versus Totten. And it's going to be away ball one. One ball, no strikes. And now that's going to be fouled off. Strike two to Totten. As Scott is on the mound and ready to deliver. That ball is lifted high and, and foul at the third baseman, Tomalonis. And that's going to be an easy put out for Tomalonis. And that's going to end the third inning. We'll be right back in the fourth. The score is East Carter 2, Russell 0. Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. make sure to stop at Clark's Main Street Market for all the essentials. Return, refresh, refuel. And we are back here on My Town Sports TV Network tonight for high school baseball and its final weekend of the regular season. And we are bringing you Russell and East Carter and we are getting ready to start the top of the fourth inning as East Carter leads the Devils 2-0 to zero at Russell here on Senior Day. Totten set to deliver his last warm-up pitch. He does. And they bring it down. And we're ready to start the top half of the fourth inning with the catcher for East Carter. Leading off for East Jackson Carter, Barker. The catcher, number 45, Jackson Barker. Umbrella's still out here as Barker takes strike one on the outer half of the plate. And now Barker swings through and misses an outside fastball. And we have no balls, two strikes as that breaking balls in the dirt. Barker, good piece of hitting to hang off on that. As now, Barker is in the box. Ready to go. One ball, two strikes. Fouls it off down the third base side. Count stays up. One ball, two strikes. Totten set to deliver. And that ball is going to hit Barker. And that's going to be a dead ball off a of breaking ball. It's going to hit Barker. And For East Carter, the first baseman, number 41, Harley Bowen. That's going to bring Bowen to the plate. Bowen, the first baseman, 
excellent pitcher for the Raiders. Not pitching tonight, but he is an excellent pitcher for the East Carter Raiders. At one point in time, was 5-0 in the season until he lost his first decision, 9-8, to to the Tomcats of Ashland when Ashland had the seven-game win streak. Bowen squares. And he's going to go to first, and that throw is going to get away and up the line. And by the time it gets into the infield, you have a runner at third base with no outs as Totten delivers a pickoff that's errant and goes into by the first baseman into right field. Off the dugout into right field. And that's going to – the runner's going to advance from first to third on that air. And now it's one and one, nobody out. Runner at third. East Carter looking and threatening to score again. Bowen takes the ball high and inside. Bowen into the box. Lifts one high. And caught by the shortstop over the third baseman's head in, in between the left fielder. And that ball was caught one out. For the Raiders, the second baseman, and number 35, Gavin Sexton. No one was able to advance. So now there's one out and one on third base as Sexton steps up to the plate. Sexton swings and misses at strike one. And they try to squeeze. They've got him hung up. The squeeze was missed. And now he's hung. And Totten's going to chase him down. And Coach Shear is furious at his batter in the box. He said, that is on you. As they try to suicide squeeze. And the runner at third base was tagged out in that rundown. And now two outs, one ball, one strike to Gavin Sexton. And now he takes strike two. And now it's one ball, two strikes, and nobody on. As East Carter had a runner on third, no one out again. And it looks like potentially... They're not going to get any run across the plate this inning. So now Totten delivers. Ground ball down the first base side. It's fair, and he is going to be safe as he beats that out, Sexton beats out the infield hit as the first baseman filled it and could not get there before Sexton got across the base. And so Sexton's going to reach on an infield hit. It's technically an infield hit. And so now... That's going to bring up Samuel Hamilton, the DH. For East Carter, the designated hitter, number 27, Samuel Hamilton. Hamilton swings and misses at strike one. Sexton gets his lead at first. Hamilton takes strike two.
That ball is going to get by the first baseman on a back pick by Brinkman. And that's going to land Sexton over at third base. And now Connor Skaggs into bat. Skaggs swings and misses, and that's going to be strike three. They're going to leave a runner at third. One got hung up on a suicide squeeze. East Carter gets nobody across after threatening with two more runners in scoring position. After three and a half, it's going to be East Carter, two, Russell, zero. We'll be back with the bottom half of the fourth here on My Town Sports TV. Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. And we are back here on My Town Sports. This is Jason Clark. And we are calling the East Carter Russell baseball game here at Russell High School as the rain has moved in and started to come down. We are in the bottom of the fourth inning. And it is East Carter 2. Russell zero, and senior day for the Devils. One of the only games here this weekend on my town as we have the final weekend of the regular season 2023 before elimination play starts Monday night, and for Russell, it will be at Lewis County against Raceland in the 63rd district matchup. Ball one delivered to Oborn. Now ball two, two balls, no strikes to Ethan Oborn, the Russell center fielder. And Scott working quick. Three balls, no strikes. That ball was low. Oborn. Going to take a strike right there. Good take. Looking to get on. And that's going to be strike two on the outside corner. Oborn thought he had the walk. Now it's 3-2, full count. The payoff pitch is getting ready to come from Scott to Oborn as Scott has worked his way back in this count. And now Oborn is going to sky it. High to second base. And that is going to be caught by Gavin Sexton. And, yeah, there could have been probably about ten raindrops in his eye right there as he looked up to get that ball that was skied up. Nice piece of pitching by Tate Scott to come back from a 3-0 deficit in that count. And now he looks to face the third baseman, Nick Adams. And Adams fouls the first pitch off down the third base side. And it's going to be no balls, one strike to Adams. Well, 
Russell celebrating five seniors tonight on this Red Devil baseball team. As Scott's curveball misses high and inside. One ball, one strike to the Russell third baseman. Scott looks, delivers, fast ball, low and outside, ball two, two balls, one strike. Scott fires one, fast ball, fouled off by Adams. Two and two is the count. Scott fires a breaking ball, and that's going to fool him, and that's going to be strike three. That's going to be his third strikeout of the evening. And now Russell has two outs in their half of the fourth inning. And that is going to bring up Connor Hamilton, the DH. For the Red Devils, the designated hitter number 17, Connor Hamilton. Hamilton. Takes ball one outside. And swings and fouls off ball two. Back behind the catcher. One ball, one strike to Hamilton. And Scott looking to get out and cruise in this fourth inning. Ball's hit down to Tomalonis at third. He's going to fire it over. To Skaggs, it looks like at first. Or no, it's Bowen. Sorry, Harley Bowen at first. So that is going to be a 5-3 to three put out. That's going to end the fourth inning. We're going to go to the top of the fifth. It's 2 to nothing. East Carter over Raceland here on, or over Russell on My Town Sports. You're wondering why you struggle to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. And we are back here on My Town Sports TV Network as Russell's going to make a change. Jaden Frazier will now go in and play first base for the Devils. And uh, this week, East Carter has had a big week as uh, the Raiders have def the defeated Red the Raceland Rams earlier in the week, 7-6 in extras, before they came back and beat the – uh, Boy County Lions, two to one. So East Carter definitely looking to win the week if they can hold on and beat Russell. Uh, that just goes to show you how good the 63rd district is as Russell and Raceland will square off Monday night For East Carter, in the, the district 16, Tate Scott. at Lewis County with the winner advancing to the regional tournament at Morgan County. Totten still on the mound. He delivers high and outside to Tate Scott, the pitcher. Tate Scott has a double and single tonight. And it's two for two from the plate. 
And now he just inside outs a ball, but it's going to be just foul down the left field line. And it's going to be one ball, one strike. The rain has set in here. And looks like it's getting a little bit harder here at Russell. And Scott fouls another ball off. And Totten kicks off his cleats. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Top of the fifth. Top and one of that pitch. Called outside, ball two, two balls, two strikes. As Totten delivers to Scott, Scott's going to put it up. And Mokas is going to throw it and get him as Mokas has to hurry quickly off the slow roller to get Scott. Nice scoop by Frazier, and that is going to retire Tate Scott for the first time tonight. Tate Scott, two for two. Now two for three. And that's going to bring up the left fielder for East Carter, Evan Goodman, as now it looks like we are going to go into a rain delay at Russell. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank. From the rain delay, as we are in the top of the fifth with one out. Here at Russell, we'll take a break and we'll be right back uh, as we decide what's going to go on here with the game at Russell High School. You're the Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181. better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Ashland Boyd County Health Department offers the Moderna Bivalent COVID-19 booster. Vaccinations are free and appointments take approximately 20 minutes. To schedule an appointment, call 606-324-7181. And we, we are back here at Russell High School. This is Jason Clark on my town. And we are now in a rain delay at Russell and we are in the top of the fifth inning. And the score is East Carter 2, Russell 0. And there is one out in the top of the fifth. And we are going to take a break here on my town and go to delay as Russell and East Carter are in a rain delay 
And East Carter has a 2-0 lead over the Devils here on senior night. So we'll go into delay mode and we will come back on with the final decision from the officials and coaches here at Russell.
We'll see you in football season. And Have a great evening, everybody. We are back here on My Town TV. And it is going to be called as the rain does not look to let up until 7 a.m. And if you're looking at the forecast, it's going to rain throughout the night and get harder and harder. And so this will conclude Russell's home season for sports. And so the next Russell game we'll bring to you will be from Henry R. Evans Stadium during football season as now the district moves to Lewis County and the um, region in as well. So that's going to conclude our broadcast tonight on my town as after four innings completed. It was East Carter 2, Russell 0. Just could not get that last inning to make it a full game. But thank you for watching my town. We appreciate you. Please continue to watch us through the postseason as we go through baseball and softball district tournament play next week and the following week, the regional tournament play. This is Jason Clark, and I am going to sign off here on my town tonight from Russell on the last game of the regular season in the 16th region. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you again, and we'll see you next week.